Okay guys, ever wondered what would happen if you killed a load of the merchants? Well actually today we've got an interesting video for you as we have got a blood finger which will appear in a specific location if you take out a shed ton of them. Not only that, but by taking out the merchants what you will notice is that they will be dropping bell bearings. What this means is, is anything that that merchant is holding at the time and selling for you guys to purchase if you hand them into the two sisters at the round table, you will actually be able to condense all of those merchants down to just one store. Now this is a little bit sad because the merchants are iconic characters, but what this does do is it means that it condenses everything down, meaning if there's anything you want to go and buy, or specifically like stone sword keys, it means that you guys can just go down to the two sisters and go and purchase whatever it is that you need. Not only that, but if you go down to a specific location, it is going to do something quite interesting. So go ahead, take out maybe six or seven of the merchants, and then head down to this location right here, which is going to be the isolated merchant's shack that is on the right hand side just here on the map and if you go down at night time and then re-travel there it will make it like middle of the night you will notice that this bad boy right here will turn up and he is a bloody nightmare I may add he is quite difficult to take out but the bell bearing hunter is there for you guys to attack and hopefully annihilate now the best thing about this is if you do die all you have to do is go back to the rest site you go and pass time through till night time and then re-travel to that same one so you're in the middle of the night again and he will reappear it gives you guys a second chance a third chance a fourth chance and if you're really struggling maybe even 12 13 chances to take this dude out but once the bell bearing hunter is eventually gone and you can progress it through to the next bit the enemy will be failed and you will obtain the gravity stone Peddler's bell bearing. Now, heading through to the two sisters, the almighty twin maiden husks. If you go down to your offerings, you will notice that Kale's bell bearing and a load of the other ones are there, but the gravity stone peddler's bell bearing will be there for you guys to redeem which is what you got from the bell bearing hunter if you hand that in you will actually find that you will be able to go ahead and purchase a couple of items that are probably a little bit difficult to find through the natural world You'll find you'll be able to purchase the Gravity Stone Fan and the Gravity Stone Chunk and these things use FP to cause gravitational explosions and gravitational shockwaves. Pretty damn cool. Not only that, but you can hand in all of the bells from all of the different merchants and this will condense absolutely everything into one ginormous store for you guys just to go and purchase a load of cool stuff. This was a cool little thing that was found out just today and was something which was really, really enjoyable. Uh, for me personally, traveling around the map, seeing the merchants was one thing, but trying to go back around and bloody find them all to be able to take them all out to get their bell bearings, well, that was a, a whole other ball game altogether. But having all of these stores in one place with the Twin Maiden Husks was something that I really, really am happy about. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. If you haven't already, slap that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. Also, if you get the opportunity to, head down to the description and check out our sponsor, ExpressVPN. They're giving away three months with a 12-month subscription in the link in the description. So go and check it out. Make sure you hit it up. Thank you so much. Appreciate your faces. But as always, up until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.